Hey guys, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches and I have another really exciting episode for you today. I've got confirmation. I've got a picture and I'm gonna share it with you momentarily. This will not be a really long video, but it is an important one. And to that end, before we go any further uh, and get to the quick fist watch check and the meat and potatoes of this video, I would like to ask you very kindly to please like this video if you find it interesting and also to subscribe to my channel. And I need your help, I need it now. Thank you so much for that. Let's get on with the quick fist watch check. And it's not what you think, here it is. Today I am wearing a Zin 104. And guys, I promise, that I will get around to reviewing this watch. I've got a few things that I need to review soon, and this is one of them, I am enjoying it. But the topic of this video is Rolex. Rolex, Rolex. Guys, we have proof positive, we have confirmation, we have a, an early leaked photograph of the new 2021 Submariner. Now, a little bit of background. I've got sources in Rolex, as I've told you before. I must protect my sources, so I'm not even going to name this one. I don't want his, her, or their position triangulated. So pr protecting my sources at all costs, all I can do is uh, say to this individual or individuals or conjoined twins who sent me the information, thank you. You know who you are. It is very much appreciated. You will go down in history. Enough of that. Guys, I have here two Rolex Submariners. I own them both. I have them in the collector's coffin. Um, this is a... Rolex Hulk. Let's have a quick look at it. It is a 2019. Actually, the, the date on the card is just about Christmas. Let me see if I can show off the dial. Sometimes you got to move these around in the, you know, in the sun until you catch the sunlight just so. There, it's beginning to show off its true colors. Beautiful. Anyway, that is a 2019 a Hulk, the, I got it right before Christmas, so my, my, my name and that date are on the card. And um, for reasons that we'll discuss momentarily, I'll be showing you a close-up of the dial. Because there is a small dial change on the new version. And that is not the only change. Now, the uh, other watch that I have here is also mine. I bought this one secondhand. This is also a Rolex Submariner, this is a black one. And this one is a 2012 model. I, it is, I do have the box and papers for it, so I know it's a 2012, the black, and a 2019. And other than the fact that this one, somewhere before it hit me, got a light polish, these, these guys are identical for the most part. Uh, well, let's just say where it counts. Okay, bead blasted, high polished, but that was 2012. This is what they do now, 2019 and forward. I told you quite a long time ago that I suspected that Rolex would be doing multiple things to the new Submariner, and I felt that that would be released at Baselworld this year, but of course, 2020. Smack in the face, 2020. Everything changed. Baselworld was canceled, then rescheduled, then Rolex withdrew from it. Um, but my sources reported, and I reiterated here months and months ago, that Rolex was going to be changing two things with the Submariner. One would be the movement. Currently it has the 3135 movement in it with a, what is it, about a 48 hour power reserve. And that they would be going to the 3235 movement, which did migrate already into the GMT. That, that happened last year, but it did not happen for the Submariner. So my prediction was, uh, as was pretty much everybody on YouTube, that the 3235 movement would uh, also migrate into the new sub, and I have confirmation that that's gonna happen. But I also predicted months ago that that wasn't the only thing that was gonna happen, and I'm gonna link that video in, in, into the description here. I was the first guy, now lots of guys are doing this and saying the exact same thing, but I was the first guy who made the prediction that the lugs would be slimmed, okay? This has what is called the maxi case. No, the super case, sorry. This is the super case. This dial is the maxi dial. The super case has very wide, fat, squat lugs. I'm gonna put it on real quick, and what you'll see is that it has enormous wrist presence compared to the older version of the Submariner. And the reason for that is they widen out the lugs, which puts a lot more metal on the wrist. Rolex did this, 
at a time when you, you can see it for you know this uh, i have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and this is only a 40 millimeter watch but boy does it occupy a lot of real estate um, Rolex did this at a time when watches were, you know, blowing up and get, getting to be 42, 43, 44, and, and, and upward in terms of millimeters, right? Everybody went like Panerai uh, in terms of their size. And so Rolex came out with the super case in order to kind of go along with the Me Too movement of, you know, we're big and brawny, uh, but without actually compromising the historical profile too much of the Rolex Submariner. But they, um, they did the slimmer lugs on the Batman to the Batgirl, and now they are doing it to this watch. So I think now is the moment. Let me just show you a picture of the new 2021 Submariner, and then we'll, we'll come back and talk about it. Guys, you are literally the first kids on your block to be seeing this. This is the Rolex Submariner new version for 2021. You can uh, go back and freeze frame it at any point that you want and look, but what you'll notice is that the lugs have been slimmed down they are curved. They are not as small or skinny or narrow as the pre-ceramic version was, but they definitely have a waistline and they have curved in and they have been significantly slimmed down from the previous version, which was called the super case. So I believe this will be called the not so super case. Okay, now that you've seen that, um, I, I can tell you this is revolutionary because there's something I want you to look at again. So I'm gonna show you another detail right now. Notice the insertion of the crown or coronet, the Rolex coronet, right between Swiss and made. You know, that's not there on my other two Submariners, but it will be there on the 2021. That denotes a new version, a new mark, and it highly suggests that it will also have the new movement. Take a look at that same area of the dial on my Hulk, which by the way, according to my sources, will be discontinued in 2021. And you will note that there is no crown or Rolex coronet between the words Swiss and made. This is the Mark I Submariner. The new not so super case is gonna have that crown as I showed you. What you saw there was the crown, the coronet, the Rolex coronet, right between the words Swiss and made. The critical thing is this 2012 black ceramic Submariner doesn't have that. This says Swiss dash made uh, or with a line and the same is true of the Hulk, okay? So why is there a difference on the dial itself, that tiny little detail of the coronet being put in there. Well, they did that on the Batman when they went from the Batman with the super case to the not so super case, the slimmer lugs, and changed the movement. They put the coronet in there. Um, they also put the coronet on the James Cameron edition right between the Mark I and the Mark II. Also the Mark I Sea Dweller 43 millimeter Redline. Okay, the first year that they did that watch, there was no coronet there. And then thereafter, there is a coronet there. So I think that that detail is extremely telling. And what it lets us know is this is completely legitimate information. Okay, so what do we do with this information? You know, should you buy a, a Submariner right now or should you wait? You know, I, I don't have an opinion on that. I, I'm very glad that I got these. I would never have waited on either one of these waiting for a slimmer lug and, uh, and, and, and another 24 hours of power reserve. Uh, the power reserve to me is not a really big deal. Now, mind you, they did make some tweaks on the 3235. They've made it a little more shock resistant, a little more magnetic proof, that kind of thing. So who are the people who should wait on a Submariner? Not that they're so easy to get, guys. I, I do appreciate that fact. You're gonna yell at me in the comments. I, I know they're hard to get. But um, nonetheless, you, you could go on a waiting list or you could buy them uh, used, as we all know. The key point is this. Um, if you like a lot of wrist presence, then you might actually like the full-blown super case. If you feel that Rolex overdid it and that they just sort of sacrificed the artistic elegance of the pre-ceramic Submariners when they went to the super case, well, I think you might like the 2021 not-so-super case. And that is what I think we should call it. Super case? Next year, you've already seen it, the not so super case. Guys, you are the first people on your block to have seen the new Rolex in 2021. Is this 100%? Is it absolute? I'm gonna classify this as 97.5%. High, high, high probability here, guys, high probability. And my information says that watch that I showed you is already in production. The other thing is this watch is still in production also. They are running two production lines, the old one, the new one. When exactly will they make the switch and start shipping the new one and discontinue the old one? I don't know. 
It'll be in 2021. I don't know if it's going to be January or sort of mid-year or spring the way Basel World used to fall. You want my best guess? This is the only part of this that I'm truly, truly guessing on. My best guess is you're not going to see the new guy, the new one, until about halfway through the year. Let's say somewhere between April and June, you will see the new one. Okay, guys, let's talk about this in the comments. Crazy news. I know I'm, I'm giving you a very, very long advanced peek at what Rolex is going to do. Confirmation, an actual picture. Slim down lugs, a, uh, a new case, the not so maxi case. The not, the, damn it. I can't even remember it myself. The not so super case, uh, slim down lugs, and the coronet between the Swiss and the maid. Talk to me in the comments. Thank you. Please like this. It's important for me and it'll help me so much. If you like this, subscribe to me, hit notifications. Because, guys, I got a lot to talk to you about. 2020 has been a crazy year. 2021, we get a new Submariner and you knew about it before anybody else. And certainly you've seen it before anybody else. Mark Goldberg, peace out. Paint the sky.